Okay, um, this is a demonstration of how to calculate mean sum of squares, variance, and the standard deviation using Excel. So suppose I like to eat um, tomatoes. So I eat tomato. I record how much I eat tomatoes um, for ten days. How about that? So day one, day two, up to ten days. Um, I don't have to enter all of that as myself. I can tell Excel to help me. So I highlight these two numbers and then move my cur move my cursor closer to this dot. It will become a cross. I click on the cross and don't let go and drag to the number desired, in this case 10. Okay. Now we enter the data. Um, let me just you know make up some data. So 5, 4, 3, uh, 6, Alright, how about that? Now the next step is to calculate the average, the mean. Alright, so I can highlight the cell I want to display the value and then equal average, average parenthesis and then I highlight the whole data set parenthesis again and enter Ooh, exactly 5. The next step is deviation. I want to calculate how much each data point deviate from the mean, right? So each data point need to uh, uh, minus the mean. So equal and then highlight the value minus. Now quite a few people will say, okay, the mean is five is right here. Let me click here and then enter. Um, and then highlight here and do this drag thing. Now if you do that, then the on, uh, only the first uh, value will be correct. The rest will be incorrect. Because you see what happened to, okay, now this one is correct. But the next cell, now the value four will no longer minus uh, the value right here, which is five you will minus the cell below uh, the, the mean, below this cell, and so on and so forth. So you look at this, yeah, it's just moving down. Um, so it's not going to work. There are two ways to fix this problem. Uh, one easier one, you know, it would be harder. Let me teach you the easier way first. So equal, highlight a value, minus and then don't be lazy, just type in the value yourself, 5. Okay? Then do this drag down thing. Okay. This is the easier way, in my opinion. Now, one harder but fancier way, if you want to learn about that, is okay, highlight this value minus, and that you want to just highlight it. Okay, let's do that. Enter. But then you need to do something. Um, come here uh, to what you just typed and you need to tell Excel to fix on this cell right? this is done by enter the money sign okay, uh, before this column B and then again before the number enter the money sign this is to uh, tell Excel to fix on this column and this row. Enter. And then drag down. Okay, now you have correct values. Well, um, this is a fancier way, but I prefer the easier way. You know. So let's do that again. Let me show you again. Okay. Okay, now. Um, the next step is to calculate the total deviation. Yeah. The first instinct, of course, is to add everything up. But it's not going to work because uh, this see what happened if I add everything up. Uh, this is equal and then sum. That means total. Parenthesis and then highlight the whole thing. Parenthesis. Enter. Uh oh, it's zero. 
And actually, it's easy to understand because mean means the the midpoint of each data point. So you have these uh, negative numbers and positive numbers, and they will balance out each other. Okay. So this is not going to work. Um, so we need to square each value here. Right. This is done by equal highlight here and then shift 6 and then 2 that means square enter and then let's do this drag down thing okay now we can add them up um, another way to uh, add them up is to highlight the whole thing up to the cell he uh, you want to display the value which is right here and then go to auto sum here Oh, exactly 60. Fancy. And then this is the sum of square. The next step is to calculate the variance. In other words, the average of the deviation. So equal, highlight a value, and then divide it by. Now, if we are only interested in the deviation of the sample itself, then we divide it by 10 because this is the case. But we want to estimate our real, uh, real purpose is to estimate the population's deviation. Um, so we cannot divide it by the sample size. It need to be degrees of freedom, which is the sample, uh, the sample size minus 1. So 10 minus 1 is 9. Right. So that's variance. And then standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So equal in the S, Q, or T. Parenthesis, highlight this value, enter. That's standard deviation.